it's like an assessment of your brain's processing speed and ability. You know, it doesn't matter what you believe. You, I mean, you could have a high IQ and still believe in fucking angels and devils and gods and fictitious things and, you know, whatever. And actually, having a high IQ means that you might actually, uh, a higher IQ than normal might mean that you might be able not be able to unlearn shit as easily. I don't know, but your, your brain's processing speed means that you think faster. I think faster than most of you motherfuckers, which is why I'm kind of like rising to the top of the pile in um, certain social hierarchies or whatever, business, this, that, and the other. It doesn't mean that I'm better, it just means that I'm faster and my brain is faster. So there, there are many advantages in society to have a fucking faster brain, just like having a faster phone or a faster laptop or whatever. I'm still promoting a little small Soyuz, uh, world's smallest Android phone, because I hate fucking, I don't like buying new and expensive shit, you know what I'm saying? Trade of high IQ, I guess. I don't like paying interest for shit. I like to own my shit. I, blah, blah, you know what I'm saying? So here's another side segment note here. I want to bring this up here since uh, I did a little uh, I did a little webcam show like early in the morning about the whole my whole uh, black mom experience or whatever in caps. I was talking about in my last episode about psychotherapy, psychoanalysis, or whatever. Right? Man, <laughs> and this is really fucking. Uh, this really kind of saddens me a little bit, but I'm gonna fucking talk about it anyway. You know, really fuck. Because it has to do with my IQ test, my SAT score, or my SAT test in high school, right? Now, I went to this high school in uh, California, Union, uh, Union City, California. It was called James Logan High School. Go Colts. I give a fuck about school spirit or whatever, but it was actually a very good public school. It was like one of the top rated or top ranked schools in the Bay Area in California. And, um, you know, I have to thank my mom for actually sending me to this school instead of sending me to a ghetto school in Oakland or San Leandro or whatever where motherfuckers were, uh, you know, they didn't, they didn't have like, I had a better, I had a better educational experience there, like in, uh, in uh, Logan because, you know, motherfuckers, they have carpet in the classroom instead of like chalkboards, they have like actual white dry erase boards. Like it was just like a cleaner school, modern, more, more modern infrastructure, you had more class choices, like I was able to even take some like remedial or entry level computer programming classes there. Um, they just had like options that ghetto schools didn't have. Like there, I, I love running, they had a track that was actually a real track, a real fucking, uh, not tarmac, but uh, what is it, not AstroTurf either. Just like a good, not a, not a, like my, the ghetto schools had it, like San Leandro and Oakland had like dirt tracks, sand tracks. This one actually had a real solid surface, a real fucking like stadium. The school had money based on the property taxes and shit of the area that it was in, right? So I got kind of a more of a better educational experience. But really, you got to educate yourself in life anyway. So I'm always a nerd, always reading books, you know, no girlfriends, no this, no that, no distractions. So I could work on my business and uh, all that shit from a young age. But here's some really, here's where things kind of took a left turn, you know? Um, I'm a smart kid in school, I'm a nerd, I do the SAT test, I study this, I practice, I do all this and that, take the test, get the results back, got 1,030 whatever, which is okay, which is better than average, it's certainly better than what the average black people were getting in the school or whatever, right? So get this man, I had this class, I had a course in African American studies, they actually had a real course there, a black studies course in high school, which was really cool because it was like such a large population of school. I mean, this school you could take like classes in fucking Swahili, Tagalog, like they had all kinds of cool student union. I was in the fucking Muslim student union back then. Imagine that. No, oh, wow. Not, I'm not Muslim, by the way. But I mean, like, anymore. But it's like, um, they had lots and lots and lots of, um, options for for uh, education and uh, extracurricular activities right and we'd also have like guest speakers come in and one in particular in my like in my last year of high school uh, we had a recruiter come in from Howard University in uh, Washington DC which is like a uh, it's a historically black college whatever and he came in saying like hey if you can if you can score he talked to our group right he's like if you have a score on the SAT, like a high IQ shit like me, if you have a score over a thousand, you get a free full ride scholarship, which is renewable, but for the first year they give you a full scholarship to the university, free ride, room and board and all this and that, 
And uh, I'm like, wow, free college, free university. Let me go apply for this. So I talk to the guy, whatever, fill out the app and whatever. And I tell my mom to go and mail this thing in for me. And would you believe that she did not mail the application in? I followed up with the guy and he was like, he never received it and this and that. And I found out my mom didn't want me to move out of state. She was like overprotective, all this shit. And she really, really kind of derailed my future there. You know, I wonder why do this to people? Why would you do this to your only son? Because you want to keep him next to you because you have some personality disorder or some insecurity or you don't want me to leave you or some shit. I would never derail my own kid's future like that. A free fucking scholarship. Yet to this day, she still criticizes me. You dropped out of college. You did that. We need to go back to school. I'm like, yo, I'm a nerd. I did my shit. I put in the work. I got a free ride and you fucking threw it out the window because of your own fucking issues. Wow. Hashtag black moms. Thanks, mom. Nigger with, with, nigger with the highest IQ in the motherfucking school, at least as far as African American people are concerned, and the future gets derailed by my own mom. And you're going to criticize me for being a porn star, pornographer, producer, internet webmaster guy, whatever, for the rest of my life. And tell me to go back to school and be a fucking doctor, lawyer, internet engineer, internet fucking whatever. Just go back to school. I don't. It's like, I don't want to fucking believe it. But now, in hindsight, 20 years later, as I'm looking up the IQ test and what IQs correlate to or whatever, those are some of the professions that I actually line up with as I'm looking at on the screen up there. What does it say for IQ one? Scrolling up here. Again, that's a long, I'm, I'm nowhere near the bottom of the list, so I'm scrolling the list right now. There's a lot of motherfucking things that are like literally beneath me or jobs that would not they wouldn't suit me well because I'm too smart for them. So I'm up in the range of, again, software engineer, meteorologist, school principal, physician, assistant, electrical engineer, web developer, construction foreman, geologist, veterinarian, computer system analyst, and the list goes down, down, and down. I might be more or less qualified for, for some shit above that, but if I'm in the upper echelon of intelligence, why would you try to stunt somebody's growth? I wonder that, you know what I'm saying? Like if I'm, if I'm actually willing to do something, I have the work ethic to pursue higher education and educate myself and lock myself down in a room like this and just study, 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 and fuck what the rest of them niggers are doing. I'm gonna read books because I wanna better myself and educate myself and do stuff on other parts of the globe like I am now. God damn. You know what I'm saying? Like black people really fuck each other's they fuck their kids' lives up. I would never do this to my kids, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know? <laughs> you know, I am shaking my head here 20 years later. You know, so I got this high IQ, wow. Well, I guess that's why I'm in Thailand right now. That's why you guys are where you are now. That's why you don't have a business for yourself, probably. You probably don't have websites paying you. You don't have movies and this and that. Not that I'm tooting my own horn, but I'm doing this shit because my brain thinks faster than most of you people. I'm not better than you guys. I'm not, I'm not even smarter. I might be stupider. Stupider is not a word. But the point is my brain processes information fast and faster than what most motherfuckers around me can do. I don't know what that's due to. Genetics, my East African genetics mixed with that, that, and the other. Or just the fact that I read a lot of fucking books and the fact that I fucking care. You know, I know niggas that don't even read books or buy books. I know people that don't even own books. Most people in my family don't even own fucking books. You know what I'm saying? Most people don't even own a fucking laptop or something. Like, really? You're at the bottom of that fucking list. That's why you niggas are fucking security guards, cashiers, clerks, fucking janitors, all that shit on the bottom of the fucking list. You know? You can rise the hierarchy, but you gotta raise your IQ. There are certain jobs. You cannot be a motherfucking, what is this shit on the page here? Mathematician, meteorologist, physician, electrical engineer, web developer. That shit requires knowledge. It requires a computer. It requires you to do math. I got up to calculus too in university. You know what I'm saying? I can program motherfucking computers and this and that and the other. Any, any skill is learnable. The question is how fast can you learn this shit? And how fast can you unlearn the shit if it's not effective or accurate or whatever? So that's the only thing that my brain is different in. It's like I, I'm not faster, I'm not smarter, but I can think faster than most of you motherfuckers. Yo, I'm knocking on the door. Hold on. I'm coming.